All right, do you want to do the opening since I did it last week? Welcome to the Slash Group Podcast! That's going to sound fucking fantastic. I assume you're just screaming directly into your microphone. <laughs> yeah, but then I faded away <laughs> like I was falling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, so as Jordan stated, welcome to the Slash Group Podcast. It is me, Derek, with Jordan, and special guest... Josh. When you say your name. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is Josh. He is a friend of Jordan, an acquaintance of mine. Um, I've only met him once, so I can't call him a friend yet, unless he wants to be friends. Do you want to be friends, Josh? Oh, hey, I'll be friends. <laughs> okay, cool. So it's our friend, Josh. Um, <laughs> and uh, Jesse's not here. Jesse got dragged into doing man things with men. Burly um, man stuff. In a not, in <laughs> a Lifting not heavy way. things. Getting sweaty. A, Drinking beers. Kind of way. Um, so, <laughs> so he's not here, which is kind of sad, because... Um, we we have a small our... episode today. I mean, we're probably we don't even have that much to talk about, really. Yeah, it'll probably really only be like a fifteen minute episode. In all yeah, honesty, honestly. just kidding. It's the E three episode. Woo-hoo! Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, super exciting. So uh, it is uh, currently Wednesday at four p.m. Uh, so we've had all the major uh, press release things happen. We've had uh, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, the PC gaming thing. Wait a minute. Um, it's wait a Tuesday. minute. What? Shit, it's Tuesday. <laughs> so we've had all the... <laughs> My days have been all sorts of effed up. Well, you, were, um, you just so actually came back from the Sony E3 conference yesterday, correct? Yeah, last night. So I what? got back... He yeah, went to the, uh, he, the E3 experience. Yeah, wow. I didn't go to E3. It was, <laughs> it was an they experience. They do like a theater thing. That's cool. It was interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, so it was like me and a bunch of fellow mouth breathers um, (laughs) hanging out uh, in a theater watching the E3, uh, uh, Sony E3 thing. So it was cool. We got some free swag and um, got to be more excited than when I was watching the Xbox E3 event. So that's uh, pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, my yeah. for whatever reason my week has been all all janky. So uh, to start out, I guess, what do you guys want to talk about first? I mean, there's so much. I mean, should we so, just go in order of conference? So we Microsoft first. Uh, technically EA, but I mean, what did they have to talk about besides a uh, very underwhelming no. conference? If, if we if we want to talk about yeah, are we going to talk about the uh, consoles or the actual uh, publishers? I mean, we can we can. I mean, I don't have anything to say about E3 or Bethesda, really. You have anything to say about E3? You don't? <laughs> I have a lot to say about Bethesda, <laughs> but I don't want to say any of it. Um, so, I don't mind starting out... I mean, were they... Yeah, were, if they were the f- very first ones, EA, the only thing I can think of, like, the or biggest one being um, the Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, multiplayer gameplay that they showed. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's a story mode in the new Madden. Whoa! Uh, Whoa! Super cool. Which has never been a thing in all previous Maddens. I think, what is this, Madden... Like 30 something. Madden the 30th one or something? <laughs> so Yeah, something like that. There's a, there's a story mode. Um, yeah, seriously. I, I know I am crazy. intrigued. Uh, I guess if we're going to like kind of uh, fireball these out because there's just a ton of games to talk about. Um, we don't need I'm, to go through every single one. That'd be insane. I'm, I'm ex- well, I'm just going to say like one thing about it. So, like, <laughs> I'm excited about Anthem. That that um, that one that's coming from Bioware. That that yeah. uh, intrigues me. I'm hoping not to get... I'm not getting my hopes up too high. I've been burned by... T- I talked about this with Josh. I've been burned by too many games. I've been burned by No Man's Sky. I was burned by Destiny. Ugh, you know, I was burned Anthem by um, The Division. There's just there's too many games that came out at E3 that with this huge, awesome, amazing trailer showed some cool gameplay of it. You know, definitely scripted, mm-hmm. but cool gameplay. And then all of a sudden, you know, it actually comes out and it just takes a big dump in my mouth. And you know, I've I've, yeah. I've had enough with the dumps in my mouth. <laughs> Five times is too um, many. <laughs> I actually I actually kind of forgot about battlefront to tbh um 
but I'm actually really excited for that. Not because it's like well, obviously because it's Star Wars, but mostly because it's coming to PC, mm. which is super crazy exciting. Because first person shooters are fucking hard on console for me. Um. Uh, uh, well, you could you had the option to go third person, and a lot of people did take the third person option because yeah. still it actually... either way shoot. Fine, let me rephrase. Okay. Let me rephrase. <laughs> Shooting games are hard for me on console. <laughs> okay, there you so, go. So, like any like thing that requires like a little bit of precision is a pain in the ass with a controller for me. Like I need a mouse. I get that. I'm just I'm like a PC master race, but like I own consoles too. Yeah, but with shooting games blood. specifically, yeah. I, I might for, actually for blow. Like, I might blow Josh out of the water again. I, I've put him on blast already several times, but I'm also trying to convince him to get a PC at some point. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Josh plays Heroes of the Storm with me. Yeah. On a Surface. On a Microsoft Surface. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, granted, like he has a mouse, but yeah, it's. I don't, I'm <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm amazed that he plays it, man. I'm amazed. I I had a roommate but he that really played good. it on the surface. So, um, uh, <sighs> on the subject yeah. of Battlefront, I will say I didn't even remotely, I wasn't remotely interested in the first one. I'll probably get the second one. I just wasn't trying to pay for half a game the first time around, and I'm not about to I sing mean... EA's praises for making the game we should have gotten the first time around. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one thing like i was i played star wars battlefront for like two months and then i was like okay <laughs> yep, same you got the same like three like I, maps uh yeah you know the the power-up system was really odd the way that they did it it wasn't like a kill streak type thing it was just in the map so if yeah. you knew where it was you could just go and get it every time and so yeah. often i would never get it i think i got it in one match in all of the times that I yeah. played it. So, uh, yeah, it was just uh, a little weird. The, the modes that they had were a little weird at launch. Um, yeah. And also the fact that they only covered uh, during the episodes uh, four to six, I believe. You know, it was during oh, the, yeah. during the yeah. rebellion. It wasn't quite after uh, the end of Darth Vader and whatnot. So they didn't yeah. want to spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they <laughs> came on. out right before. I think it did come. It came out right before the Force Awakens. Yep. So yeah, November before the uh, Force Awakens came out, early December it came out in November, I think. Yeah. So that was was that that was two years ago then, huh? Wow. So it's yeah. been a been a, a little while, but I mean, definitely, I'll give it a shot if it if it uh, like it like the trailer showed and the and the bit of the gameplay it showed like a. It's roots more with the original uh, Battlefronts one and two. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm eager to see. You know what excites me? Um, I don't know how it's gonna work, but it looked like there was actual flight combat intermixed with ground combat. Yeah, that so is. So like, like Battlefield. Uh, like um, Battlefield. Yeah. And that's that's honestly um, what people wanted when the first one came out. Anyways, yeah. was a Battlefield, yeah. but with Star Wars. You know. Yeah. Then they so, somehow dropped yeah. the ball on that. But okay, yeah, moving yeah, moving free. on. Um... Um, one more thing to say about that game, <laughs> oh, okay. actually. One more, the one oh, God. Like, good thing to say about that game, and what I hope other companies will kind of pay attention to, is uh, the lack of a season pass. I did, I do remember I was actually chatting big... with someone at the, the Sony thing last night, and I was like, but if there's no season pass, are they still going to have DLC? Is it just going to be like a paid shop? They uh, said that like, all the free, all the DLC will be free. Yep. Oh, did they? Yep. yep. Free content. I believe it when I see it. Yeah, exactly. It's EA, as I say with most it's, things. It's EA, which all the more reason, like, wow, I'm surprised that they're doing that. <laughs> they need, but I guess they do need to like have a PR boost because they have a very bad reputation right now. Yeah. So yeah. So them and um, Ubisoft have a pretty bad rep right now. Yep. Yep. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, so what's next on the list? So that was EA, and then Microsoft was after Bethesda. That. We can skip over. Whoa. Yeah, well, uh, Mi- Microsoft. Uh, we can jump into with basically, you know, I I didn't really 
I, I the biggest thing I think that they announced being Xbox Scorpio or Project Scorpio Xbox is One Xbox X. One X. Edgy. It's it's very yeah. edgy, very early two thousands, like a screen name with it's all the, the X's. The, the triple X of the Xbox. <laughs> it is the it is the triple X there. Um, the the Xbox One Ten uh, is definitely yeah. going to be something. It it's going to be the most powerful console to date. So I mean. To me, when they announced it like that, I I don't really, I don't know if it's maybe the way that they announced it or like because you know the presenters always it always feels like they're like they're kind of awkward when they're talking like to other gamers like gamers want like like the the big facts of everything mm-hmm. and yeah. the way that they like do the dramatic revealings and then they're like all right what do you guys think about this and then they like wait for like an applause and then they continue talking it's like. It must say it in the teleprompter, like wait for applause, because it, it just yeah. it it seems a little disconnected there when when they are presenting. Um, but I, I am I am eager to see it in in action. Oh my obviously. god! Uh, I just I don't know I don't know I just like had an epiphany that abbreviated Xbox One X as X B O X. Yeah, huh. yeah. There's been oh my, there's funny. been a couple of. Uh, I was just writing it down, and I was like, "Oh my, wait a minute." <laughs> <laughs> There's been, uh, yeah, they, or uh, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of weird. I, I think they really could have dropped the one and maybe just made it Xbox X uh, or just X. So I don't know, <laughs> to abbreviate they, it. <laughs> I think they kind of. The reason one. I'm not. Uh, go ahead. The reason I'm not excited is because like, it's literally the Xbox One S Plus. <laughs> ah, essentially, yeah, not... and that's that's actually what I saw from a couple of the first comments when I was seeing the uh, the stream that uh, yeah. a couple of people had it's was like, "Wow, you know, if they're going to release this, what is it? It's coming out uh, this year, November, right? Yeah. So it's coming out in November. They just released the Xbox S last year. Yeah. I'm sorry, One S yeah. last year. Uh, why didn't they just wait another year then to release an entirely new console? Why would they needed to compete with the PS4 Plus? And and that's that's Pro. where you know they're gonna lose some of the. I mean, I'm sure that the super dedicated fans will buy this anyways. But you know, it kind of kind of spits on the shoes of of the people that did buy the Xbox One S because then well, literally a dedi- year later, a better one comes out. Like their but- super dedicated fans are fucking stupid because. <laughs> Microsoft is literally shooting themselves in the foot right now. They are releasing all of their exclusives on Windows as well. Yep. Why the fuck wouldn't you just build a PC that can play way more stuff, also get all the Xbox um, all well, the Xbox exclusives? So I've, ta- I've talked with a couple like- people about that, and I mean, the, the one thing with you know getting a console versus a, getting a PC to build is obviously with a console you can just plug and play it. Then that's it. There's no extra work to be done there. You you plug it mm-hmm. in, you put the game in, you play it. Well, except for like two hours of day one updates. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> you know, essentially it's just it's just plug and play. You know, with the computer, I understand for the uh, the common consumer. You know, they don't have time to be building a computer, looking up parts, uh, buying they all don't that have stuff. To. There's literally like 800 websites slash companies that will build you a gaming rig well, and ship it to you. I'll say this about what the about the X2? price tag then? The the Xbox it's One like X, 1,300 bucks. Well, yeah, and that's or the thing about last you much longer than the you know. For, I, don't I, know I don't know, Derek. This is like the this. most powerful console yet. So, well, that's the thing about the Xbox One X is for the money and its capabilities. You can't get a PC for that price. That does that is the one good thing, from what yeah. I understand. Right out of the box, 4K resolution, 60 frames per second. That's what they, you know, that's that's what they're over six teraflops or over six over six giga teraflops. Like, I mean, you know. Yeah. All, all that information is great. The, the common consumer is not going to compare. Not really caring about that. If anything, that's for people that want to compare it to computers, which that's that's, that's what, breaking down like, the the barrier there. But they're, this is what they're doing. They're they're putting themselves in the position where they're going to be competing with PCs. Yeah. And what they they're going to find out <laughs> is that they can't. Yeah. They can't compete with a PC because your graphics, like the graphics card in PC, is just up. You can get a good one, like. Every year you can upgrade if you Every want to. Every year you can upgrade, but you don't need yeah, to that's true. because you could uh, technically you could probably upgrade multiple times a year with how they keep putting out these graphics cards. But 
like I just upgraded mine last year and there's already like a better version um, but like I can play with my build I replaced everything last year I spent I think I spent like 700 bucks no I spent closer to 900 bucks because I replaced a couple things I didn't really need to but anyway I spent like 900 bucks and I can play like everything that I want to play on like ultra graphics okay. that being said um i'm not sure i could do like heavy 4 i definitely couldn't do 4k at 60 fps so if if the xbox one x can actually pull it off and can pull a steady 60 fps at 4k that's fucking impressive yeah that and is. and again and... at its at its price point that's that you know for the common consumer you know they're gonna see what you just said you know that you're you spent like 700 bucks 900 bucks on your computer well, the Xbox is only five hundred bucks, and it does yeah. about the same thing. So, yeah. also for some reason, the common consumer is southern. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I it, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm torn. I'll 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 believe it when I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, this is it's the first big... the first revealing of it and whatnot. But yeah, I'm sure we'll have some more information come out um, as time yeah. progresses. The other things being from the Xbox conference. Cuphead. Um, uh, yep, Cuphead. <laughs> uh, the new Forza. Uh, Crackdown 3, which I heard did not go very well. It looked unpolished. It looked unpolished, yeah. and they promised a 100% destructible wor- world two years ago, and it did not look like things were falling apart in that demo they showed. Yeah. So okay. it looks like they're under-delivering, which kind of s- continuously their problem on there. It's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exclusives. Oh yes. Um, <laughs> All I cared about with uh, Crackdown was that Terry Crews like opened. Yeah, up. Terry Crews is I guess going to be a playable. Uh, <laughs> either his likeness or his. Uh, vo- I assume his voice automatically, but then uh, I assume yeah. also his likeness. Um, so then I think Xbox is Assassin's almost- Creed. Yeah, yeah, Assassin's Creed, Man. which I mean, that's I don't think that's going to be exclusive Origins. to Microsoft, but that's that's more. No, of a but they Ubisoft. announced it during their. They announced it during mm-hmm. their. Oh, that's their, right. Yeah, they did X- show it off the um, Xbox, PS4, and because because Xbox PC as well. Yes. Um, or in the well, oh, all of the, the lists, sequel to Ori. Pretty excited about that one myself because I love. Oh the yeah, first yeah, Ori. yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to actually beat the first one. Will of the Wisps. Will of the Wisps. Will of the Wisps. <laughs> um, that's right. I saw that. Um, they showed some weird. That's the other thing, you know. It just left kind of a, a weird taste in my eye mouths <laughs> when you know they showed the how how awesome and powerful the Xbox One X is going to be, and then like right afterwards they showed like some indie trailers, and I was like, oh, nothing but indies. Oh, okay. Um, so wait, but what are yeah. your big exclusives like? Because I don't really want to bet that this yeah. weird artistic game is gonna make me buy your console like what is like your yeah, big what, sellers what are the games that are actually gonna utilize this 4k at 60 yeah apparently. <laughs> i would love to know why they canceled Scalebound. i would, that would really be great love if they to know about why that. Uh, i don't know who knows you know that was a dumb decision on their part business <laughs> business as usual Stupid. um the yeah. last thing i'll say on the xbox conference that they did announce is uh, and it's something that they, I guess they are kicking butt now um, in that department is the backwards ca- capability. Mm-hmm. Um, you can now, oh, yeah. they're oh, going to have sure. all of the Xbox in that. Um, games on the Xbox One. Um, yeah. And with that also, awesome. for the Xbox One X, they said you could Upgraded. use any of the Xbox One accessories for that. So that's yeah, also amazing. So. Because it's the same console. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's still an Xbox One. And it's way smaller. <laughs> It's the smallest Xbox to date. Like, <laughs> it doesn't even look different, though. Like, it's the exact same design, but smaller. Yeah. You know, well, you know, some people don't like change, so I guess if it I like doesn't change, if change I'm getting a, much. if they're toting this as like a new console, I want it to look a little different. I think the idea is to kind of keep the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X as like the same console family in the way that like you have the iPhone like. S and then like the actual iPhone like seven or wherever we are now. Or like the seven sense. and the seven plus. Yeah, or you know what yeah. I mean? 
Yeah. So like you have the I one suppose. for your base people, and then if you want a more, pa- if you're willing to dish out the money for something more powerful, then you get the X. But yeah. I mean, PlayStation's already suffering because the PlayStation Pro isn't exactly selling all that great either. It's not that no. much more of an upgrade from the PlayStation Four. Yeah. I, I mean, if you have a 4K TV, then you can use that. But you well, know, that's if the you other don't, thing. Then... If, with the Xbox One X, you also need the same stuff. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Which is the same thing as the S. You know, I, th- I think the S can go yeah. to 4K, yep. but so there's not really that yeah. much of a jump. The only difference uh, being it can play 4K discs. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. 4K so, Blu-ray player? You know, 4, 4K Blu-ray player, which... Uh, that is nice. PS4 Pro does not have. So that is Correct. something that Xbox does have above uh, yep. Sony right now. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say that the Xbox One X isn't worth it as, for... Like someone it's too, I feel like it's too early to tell. Yeah. Um, you, for your spending, what is it like an extra hundred bucks for uh, the, the Xbox it's, One it's X 550. over the PS4 Pro? What was yeah. that? Well, I know the the S is two fifty, so you're spending twice the money. Well, I'm saying versus the PS4. Oh like, uh, yeah. If you're looking at, but don't be shocked so if, if they the drop PS... another fifty off that PS4 Pro right it... before the Xbox One X comes out. Anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. My thing is, I guess this will help us merge into Sony. Um, my thing is, when is Sony going to announce their direct competition to the One X? Because they were, I think, last to the game with the PS4 slash Xbox One slash Wii U. Mm-hmm. So, the Wii U. But they fucking killed it, obviously. Like, the PS4 yeah. is selling been a global, exponentially uh, better than... Well, cause, yeah. I mean, they have the... Ex- that just comes down to the exclusives, right? I mean, if you have to pick a console right now, there's no reason to buy yeah. the Xbox over the PlayStation when the PlayStation well, that's, has that's exclusives. Well, that's also why I'm saying... Yeah, that's why I'm saying Microsoft's also shooting themselves in the foot, because yeah. ne- the only reason, like, someone... Like me, for instance, and I'm there's a I know there's a lot of people like this. Um, the only reason they'd buy an Xbox is for the exclusives. Mm-hmm. But now we, ha- I have a PC that can run them. So yeah, and all their exclusives are on PC now, right? Like even Gears of War is on yeah. PC, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah, that was dumb. Correct. I got it for free with my graphics card. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I don't know. It's just. We'll see. And we'll I know see. we don't want to talk um, but yes. about Bethesda, but I just want to say that as a Dishonored fanboy, I'm super excited about that standalone DLC. Oh yeah, Dishonored, yeah. Dishonored standalone. I was uh, I was talking with Josh about that. That the the only game that I can think of that did that uh, really well recently was uh, Blood Dragon from Far Cry. Yeah. That you know, it, you don't need Far Cry three to play that, and it was it utilized you know everything that you could do in Far Cry 3 and then just put a whole new story for it and whatnot. Yeah. I uh, just like the whole like with Bethesda the whole microtransaction mod thing is a bunch of bullshit and the fact that they're releasing the two new versions of Skyrim like, they need to stop with later. Skyrim. I, I honestly am really, really old. done with that. I, I, I just expect it now that every E3 now there will be a new Skyrim on some other platform. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like I don't know. Like they could. They, are they even working on the next like, Elder Scrolls? Like, what is the deal? They could have at least been like, "Hey guys, we're working on it." Like, why not at least <laughs> yeah. that? Like the Nintendo, uh, not to jump ahead, but like Nintendo yeah. with Metroid. Yeah, with uh, yeah the new yeah. Um, yes, yeah, because they were like they they're like. It wasn't even a trailer. It was like, look at space. Oh. Hey, look, it's the number four. Do you know what what we're doing? Metroid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at how excited <laughs> I am already. Wow, I didn't even see that um, much. To give Bethesda <laughs> a little bit of credit, everything that they showed at their conference, though, is coming out in 2017. Okay. They said that, but like the first three games they showed are 2018. Well, the first... What do you mean? It was like... um. Like the Yo- the Kirby game? No, 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 Bethesda. no. Bethesda. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking Nintendo. Yeah, no. That's, we still got to cover Sony. They're one thing. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go to Sony. Okay. Sony, 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 Sony. Sony. God, um. <laughs> God of War trailer, if you saw it, made me... God of War. Go. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm pretty... I actually haven't played a God of War game since the first one. It is a different voice um. actor, and it, it bothered me at first when they showed it. I think it was last year's yep. E3. And it kind of bothered me, but after watching this trailer, the the new one, uh, I you know I think I'm okay with it. I think that he's gonna. It's, it's something I guess we can talk about. Uh, also leading up to the next 
uh, conference being, you know, changing voice actors. Uh, yeah. But um, it's something that it's it's always kind of a weird thing when they take a voice actor from a role that, uh, you know, you recognize it, you just hear their voice and you picture that character and then they change it up. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Days Gone, the zomb. I'm sorry, the infected. What do they call the infected game? Post-apocalyptic kind of game. Yeah, now, that's it. That's looks the one really, I've, really pretty. I'm. I've I just, dubbed that one. I've dubbed dubbed that one frame drop the game. Uh, well, <laughs> let's all uh, Zombear. I mean, Zombear was cool though. <laughs> yes, there was a zombie yeah. bear. <laughs> but like, even in the trailer they showed in the gameplay trailer, the second that there was like six zombies, you could see frames. it start to drop frames. <laughs> yeah. So like, they showed videos where there was literally like fifty zombies plus like streaming towards you, and it's like, okay, but. Can my console handle it? <laughs> is that is like that's cool and everything, but can I actually play this game? Because I'm not 100 percent sure. That's like something tells that's me the that game's thing. gonna be disappointing. Um, uh, yeah, I'm. Who makes that one? Is that no one? Uh, I don't think that's anyone that no, we. No, it's a Sony. Really it's a it's a, like a Sony company, and I don't think it's anything like oh, okay. real. <laughs> um. um I, re- I remember watching, I was watching some other streamers when they were watching that, and they were like, oh, wow, hey, you know what we should do? We should use this motorcycle, because it's post- post-apocalyptic, and uh, watch, oh, no, it attracted the zombie, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> um, I mean, it's a, it's a motorcycle, and, you know, that's not exactly a quiet thing. It was actually really funny, so, when we were, I was at the, um, the E3 experience at the local theater here, and, uh, there were some technical difficulties with the stream in the theaters for that experience. Oh. <laughs> and um, so we didn't have sound for what, the that trailer or oh. or the um, the Uncharted trailer. Uh, so, but I'm, but I'm, during the zo- but during the zombie ahead. one, like it was funny because we were all and by we all, I mean me and the kid next to us and like <laughs> a couple other people were all making the sound effects for the game. <laughs> So like, he was like going, he was going like, <laughs> and like we were going like, <laughs> was really funny. so it was actually pretty fun. Um, but yeah, so I guess we can jump onto Uncharted Lost Legacy. So stories. Uh, I mean, I don't really have anything to say about Uncharted. I mean, More Jesse Uncharted. does. Jesse it's, fucking it's loves it. Female Uncharted, Fem Charted. Yeah. I mean, Uncharted. I don't know. <laughs> Um, we'll save that one for Thursday, or for when we record it, Thursday, because Jesse has played all of them and actually oh, really likes Uncharted. So. Oh, okay. I mean, it it looks um, cool. It's it, it's more Uncharted. I'm sure Uncharted fans are excited about that. Um, yeah. That's all I have to there, say about there's it. Just, there's two more from Sony that I want to uh, talk about. One of them uh, is Spider-Man, which I thought it looked of amazing. Course. Um, yeah. I it thought really good. I think everyone was under the impression that it's going to be open world. There's a map in the corner, but yeah. uh, some people, some of the comments I was I was seeing, uh, they were saying that it looks like it might be more of like a, a Batman Arkham Arkham City kind of thing, where like yeah, there's okay. like open world parts, but then there's like the uh, yeah. the parts where like Batman goes into a building and whatnot, and so like it's very it's kind of. Uh, you know, an enclosed level type thing. So I yeah. think that that's very possible. What Spider Man might he'll incorporate both of those both of those things because I mean if the Arkham series did so well. If we're comparing it, it to it, Arkham, it, the the fighting style looked kind of Arkham. I mean, yeah. obviously it was very different because it was Spider Man and not Batman. He used webs, but not <laughs> grappling yeah. hooks. Yeah, totally but different. The, uh, but it just it looked familiar. Do you not? Agreed. Oh no no yeah no! It, it reminds me a lot of like <laughs> Spider Man Two on the on the PlayStation Two. You know that classic yeah, Golden Age Spider Man so game. For it, though. Um, yeah. Uh, if we're gonna uh. compare it to Arkham though, it does have big shoes to fill in the sense that Arkham Knight did not have any loading screens unless you died. Like, True. That's yeah. You know, that's a benchmark I haven't seen another game hit yet. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> because of the way that they did those levels uh, loading wise. It only loaded a certain amount around Batman. Yeah. And so, yeah, if they were to do, do that, the then city, you know? they should. I mean, I don't think it's a multiplayer game, so... <laughs> Multiple Spider-Men! Well, they, um, the hint at Miles' did morals sh- was pretty that, interesting. Yeah. That was actually kind of cool, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, who knows? Um, next, or, oh, sorry, the last one from Sony I want to say is... And you actually might be interested in it, too, if you had not seen it, was the Monster Hunter... Yeah! Hell yeah! Um, 
I so did not when, I, when they were showing the trailer I was like what the hell is this is this, a, is this like another Final Fantasy and then literally, finally it like, shows him the hunting and I'm like oh yeah like the, literally the trailer like showed the blade like it was like the, him walking through the woods I was like oh my god Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter. <laughs> and, and, and like the guy next to me was like the guy next to me was like, I don't know. And I was like, I'm going to cry, dude. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Like, the, whole, <laughs> the whole time. Because I have wanted like an HD Monster Hunter game. You mean not on Basically the since the first Monster Hunter. <laughs> like I. It was originally on uh, Sony 2, wasn't PS2. it? PS2. Yeah. It was on PS2. The first game was on PS2. And I, like, I would sleep over at my friend's house. I would bring my PlayStation 2 and like my <laughs> like small CRT TV that I had like kicking around, I would lug it to his house so we could like land party Monster Hunter like the original one, and <laughs> so I have like a lot of fond memories of Monster Hunter and I like played all the games and they made that jump to PSP and I was kind of bummed because I never had one, but that's when it got really big in Japan is when they switched it to PSP because then you mm-hmm. had people right. like doing what I was doing with the PlayStation 2 and you know bringing it to a friend's house and like joining up to hunt monsters and well, stuff. Well, the portable market but is then, huge in Japan. Oh yeah. Exactly. So that's why they I think that's why they made the jump to the 3DS because the 3DS was a bigger handheld. So they made the jump to 3DS and you know the graphics suffered a little bit, but they're they're still really fun games. Yeah. Um and they're still doing like the Monster Hunter Double Cross for the Th- Switch and And that's what I was going to say is, you know, I'm surprised that, you know, that they're doing it feels like they're what? They're working on three different platforms then essentially, right? The 3DS, the Switch, and then now the PS4. Well, yeah, they pri- the, so the thing with okay, so Double Cross is literally like uh Monster Hunter Generations Plus. So the last game okay. they made, it's like an upgraded version of that because they're porting it to the Switch. So they're going to polish it up and do it on the Switch. But Generations is like a complete overhaul. Like none of those monsters they showed in the trailer, mind it's like um, there was like some plant eating monsters they showed in the background that I can't remember their names, but they've been in every single Monster Hunter game. They kind of look <laughs> like. Um, they look like a generic dinosaur, and they had like mm-hmm. a spiked tail, but whatever. And then like the dragon, the wrath, the the wrath of that they showed yeah. the fire breathing red dragon. Like those are the only ones that have been in other games. Like the small monsters didn't look like your typical like Velociprey or Velocir drone or whatever, which are like Velociraptor type creatures. Um, and yeah, so it looks. And the other big thing uh, is that usually the way Monster Hunter is set up is you have this big map. But it's broken up into sections, so you, be, when you change sections, you get a loading screen, which is always a pain in the butt. This looks like it's going to be a giant map, all open, with like yeah. seamless transitions with between the hint zones. Of world in the title, I would hope so. Yeah, so um, that's going to be. F- I'm so fucking stoked. Like, uh, speaking of that stoked, alone. Oh, finish. Can I just finish my yeah, thought? Yeah, sorry. I was sorry. Just saying, <laughs> like that that game alone if it runs better on the Xbox One X would make me buy an Xbox One X. Like, hmm. if it ran... If I couldn't run it, like, beautifully... And I don't have a 4K... If it's 4K, like, I don't have a 4K monitor for my computer, so... Like, and I have a 4K TV, so, like, that would give me a reason to buy an Xbox One X. Like, that's how much I like Monster Hunter. That, that's the yeah. same with me. Um, I don't have a 4K monitor, but I have a, the TV, so... But but then again, like, the reason I like Monster Hunter now is because um, Jesse and our friend Paul, we get together and play it, like, on our 3DSs. So, it's tough, because, like, I would... I don't know. I'd, we'd have, I have to discuss with them, I guess, is what I'm going to get at. <laughs> I'm right. just, And it's not going to come to Switch. Like, Jesse's like, oh, it'll come to Switch. It's not going to... It looks too good to come on the Switch. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be too much power for the Switch to handle. Uh, one more big hype game from Sony for me, even though it's a re-release, is uh, the Shadow of the Colossus like oh, full yeah. remake there. Yeah, I started like yelling yes. when I saw that. That <laughs> looks very so that pretty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, already looks, that that was I'm a pretty stoked. game back then. It hasn't exactly super aged well, but no, not really. Um, that it, that remake is is a Beautiful. remake that I, I'll, I'll oh, buy. Oh wait. Jordan, what about the um, Horizon Zero Dawn DLC? Oh yeah, um, I mean the, I didn't Snow see Land. any other other <laughs> dist- other uh, uh, what is it was it called? I didn't see any more um, details on it other than just that yeah, it's based somewhere in the, it's like the cold north or something I think. It yeah. is. I'm sorry, um, I'm taking my shirt off right now. It's fucking 800 degrees in my room. <laughs> I'm gonna be half naked for this. Ugh. It's um, so hot. Yeah, the. Uh, 
Dang, I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, it was something uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wilds. Uh, um, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, Josh has not beaten it all, but I do have it. Or uh, yeah, I my my brother it. has it currently. I beat it all, and it definitely he, it definitely hints at either some DLC or definitely a sequel of some sort. So I'm hoping yeah. that somehow this ties it in. If it just ends it, that'll make me a little sad. I, I actually really like the... I feel like with how well it did, they're not going to just let it go. So I feel like maybe it'll be like DLC and then two. This is a new This is a new IP from them that, you yeah, know, I know, they... Uh, I think it's the same game company that did Killzone. Yep. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, freaking... I, I thought it was freaking awesome. It just... Unfortunate, the timing when it came out, I know not every gamer got to it. Uh, because it came out like literally a week before Breath of the Wild the came out, and, and the Switch. Yeah, that's yeah. why I didn't get it. I like, I was like, I can't drop sixty bucks right now. I'm drop, about to drop so much money. <laughs> so, so. Uh, once I, uh, I don't know. Once I get that again, I'll, I'll uh, maybe I'll I want to play it. I might pick it up at some point still. But yeah. Um, one last thing for Sony before we switch uh, to the next thing is um, I don't know if you guys saw it, but. That game, Detroit. Yes. Maybe yep. there was a subtitle. Be, uh, Become Human. Yeah, that looked pretty fucking dope. That like... trailer <laughs> looks really neat. Uh, yeah. I, I have never played the Heavy Rain game. Beyond Two Souls. Neither. Or Beyond Two Souls, which are I think those are both the same. David Cage. Yeah. Uh, company or, or yeah, same publisher or something yeah, like that. David Cage, I think, is his name. Yep. He. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did some really good story work, I guess, with those other two, because that looks pretty pretty well... Yeah, uh, Detroit looks really fucking cool. I'm 100% going to buy that. There's another uh, um, futuristic-esque type game that's going to be coming out too, right? Uh, isn't it called the Cyberpunk? Uh, yeah, that's not out anytime soon, though. They, they didn't... What is they, that? <clears throat> Cyberpunk 2077 is by the same CD Projekt Red, so the people who did The Witcher. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited about that, but they're still yeah. like hard at work on that. They don't even have anything to put out yet. Uh, oh, cool. and oh. there's there's that one more thing. Um, yes, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Did no. you have any more to finish? Uh, well, just on Detroit, real quick. A cool thing about that because I saw some people talking about it on stream when they were worried because uh, it focused on a different character in this trailer as opposed to the last trailer. There's going to be three yeah. different pl- uh, playable characters in this game, hmm. so I'm pretty interested oh, cool. in how that all works out. But yeah, yeah, moving Interesting. on. <laughs> Um, the one thing before we wrap up Sony 2, um, I just remembered this, was that um, uh, we were calling it the Jackbox Sony version. <laughs> um, like that, that mobile, fuck, what was it called? Like Link link Play or Play? Play Now? Sony thing. Play Now? I don't remember what it was, but basically they're games that look like they're actual games. Like good looking, story driven games that um, basically you have a phone app that connects to the game and everyone makes decisions and like it's like a voting type thing so you know everyone votes for what they want to do in the game and then whichever vote wins that's how you progress through the game is uh through this voting system that's cool um i so don't remember seeing a thing on that yeah let me try to fuck let good, me um, good for streamers yeah good for stream well i don't see i don't know how it would work with streamers but um dang it's um i don't remember but um yeah it looked interesting i think they kind of got the idea from streamers um but it looks more like something that you know if you had a a group of like five people over your house and you're like we're bored like let's drink and play this playstation link play Uh, or whatever the fuck Um, although it's it's not exactly sony exclusive or whatnot they are gonna have some exclusives for it but destiny 2 they uh you know the release date for September 6th uh, yep. and then PC is getting a launch for it a month later um, Yeah. so that's going to be neat because I don't think the first Destiny didn't go to PC did it? It did not so nope. that's an entire game world right there that you know people that didn't pick up the first one or maybe whatever improvements that they're going to make to this one are going to be quite yeah. happy to see I'm beyond hesitant about Destiny 2. I yeah, oh, I'm I'm extremely skeptical. I mean, I'm I'm very skeptical about most of these things unless like there's like concrete like vi- uh, gameplay footage of it. Um, yeah. Can we move on to the Playlink? Next? Playlink is the thing that it's called. Playlink. Um, I will have to look that up. 
Yeah, it's uh, it looked pretty interesting. It looked like it could be fun. They announced a game that looked like it was kind of like a noir esque thing. It was kind of gritty and and stuff, and you made decisions like like the per- like, say like the person walked into a room and there was a bad guy and he, like stuck their gun and they're like bah! and then you <laughs> pick like if they shoot or if they say freeze or if oh. they go and like tackle the guy and yeah so uh cool yep. anyway right uh, what's next uh, so Sony and then we could do Nintendo I guess Ubisoft they had some cool announcements I oh I we missed something Ubisoft. with um Microsoft I don't know if anyone cares about Sea of Thieves but that game looks oh. really cool to me because yeah. I love oh, pirates it looks like it looks like something I would watch on YouTube I love pirates. <laughs> it's per- it's a personal thing that I did not. I Josh uh, enjoyed the, and if you have played it, uh, the Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, yeah, you got to do the ship battles. I didn't like the ship battles, and so that's what it. Oh, that's Ubisoft. Oh, oh no, is that a different game. one? That's I'm thinking Ubisoft's of? Pirate okay, whoops. Game, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, so well, I guess we're jumping to Ubisoft yeah. anyways. But so there's another. It's like. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Skull and Bones it's is the one. Somewhere in Ubisoft front of me. <laughs> um, oh, skull, oh, yeah, pir- it's a pirate game. Ubisoft's uh, Skull and Bone, Skull and Bones. It has a kraken in yep. it. Um, and it's not that girl that we knew from high school, Derek. Uh, <laughs> but I did. I didn't really like the ba- the sea battle uh, stuff in um, Assassin's Creed, so I, I, it doesn't really I never appeal, played Black Flag, appeal so. to me. But. See for. For me, that was the best part of Black Flag. It was a great pirate game with a mediocre Assassin's Creed game tacked onto it. That well, like that got a lot of good um, reviews. Like I, the boating aspect of the game was supposedly like the best part of it. Yeah. So that's kind of I think that's why they've been including it in games since. And then but, uh, uh, let's see here. Ubisoft also did the the Rabbids uh, with. Oh, the Mushroom yeah, Kingdom that's thing? Right. Oh, you mean um, yeah. Mario XCOM? Mario and <laughs> Rabbids. <laughs> that is laser a laser gunfight. That's essentially what it is. It's a it's a style. Stra- yeah. It's a strategy kind of game. It's like, like XCOM. Yeah. It's like Mario slash Rabbids meets XCOM. Um, um, there, of course, the new Assassin's Creed. They talked about yeah. uh, some VR project uh, transference. The Elijah I didn't, Wood thing. I didn't see too much on that. But it looked kind of interesting. I didn't um, uh, and then uh, they talked about another Just Dance game, the Star. <laughs> oh, the South Park uh, uh, mobile game, Phone Fractured Destroyer. Oh, um, I didn't actually watch the Ubisoft thing. So uh, there's uh, uh, Far. Cry- they showed some Far Cry Five gameplay, um, which actually I, looks really good. I'm. I'm. Itch- I know Derek has not played a single Far Cry, so he's he's just not I'm sold not. on it. Uh, three is the best one, but the, I'm so you know biased. Um. Yeah. The I, uh, like, I, I think the game looks interesting because I want to kill like religious freaks. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Um. So there's cool two two me. more things with Ubisoft that uh, I, I would like to make a point on. One of them being Ashley Birch is not returning as Chloe in the Life is Strange. Yes. Um, which, that's the prequel one. Uh, she, yep. She actually tweeted about that. And, yeah, I guess there because of the voice actor's strike is the reason why she was not able to reprise her role. But Which kind of okay. sucks. That that is, un, that is unfortunate. Um, and yeah. that's, again, that's the same thing, like I was saying, with God of War. Uh, different circumstances, but when you change a voice actor yeah. that's, like, so, like, you, you recognize that voice and you Liked. know that voice and, and everyone likes it. Yeah. And then you change it to someone mm-hmm. else, you know. Uh, people are going to be a little uh, skeptical at first when catching on with that. Uh, and then the yeah. last thing with Ubisoft would be... Beyond Good and Evil The 2. Beyond Good and Evil 2 trailer. Uh, which was very, very pretty. Very cool. Uh, but there was no gameplay. And they've shown a oh. teaser before. Uh, not necessarily <laughs> this one, but uh, it, of a different like thing of it. It was like a teaser trailer that you know they, yeah. they were they were working on a beyond uh, beyond good and evil. And this one yep. is going to be, I guess, a prequel. So oh, cool. Which so. I'm into because I didn't play the first one, so like this is a good way for me to be able to enter the series at least. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could just buy the game on Steam. I'm sure it's there. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it's a pretty good game. I the remember only stuff I see on PC, Derek, uh, Lawbreakers releases in August, which is I, I assume that's some kind of Overwatch. I'm sorry, not Overwatch. Overwatch esque team fighter. It, it yeah. is, but the cool. So apparently, it's fucking difficult. It's like you need to be super precise, and there's a lot of twitch stuff that needs the like, twitch reflexes because there's it's like low grav. So you're like, and characters have things to like push themselves through the air and like change direction really fast and hmm. all this stuff. So it looks interesting. Um, I guess it's also going on P- P- uh, PS4. PS4. Yep. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. Um, which my comment on that when I saw that was, how? How, how are you going to do a game that requires fast twitch reflexes on a controller? With the thumbstick. Again, like, eh. me, <laughs> me with my first person shooting, or any shooter on a console. But um, there was a couple that looked interesting for PCs. Um, Ooblets was one that's coming out in 2018. It looks like the most hipster game I've ever seen in my life. But, <laughs> um, like, you have these cute little people and you grow monsters. I have no idea what the point of the game is, but it looks cute. And uh, I'd be interested to see more about it. Um, Tunic was one it looks like um like a zelda-esque game like old school zelda uh top down what was that game there's another game recently that had like that same camera angle that was i don't remember but anyway you're like a little fox dude and you have a sword and you fight things and um oh, and, and then one was the last about. night which looks super interesting that's uh, nothing no connection to the transformer wise. transformer movie huh no, um, <laughs> the last night N I G H T. Uh, it's like super stylized <laughs> pixel art, and it looks like it's kind of like a dystopian. Oh yeah, feature. that game looks so um, cool. It looks really, really cool. Like super interesting. About that. Um, so I'm excited to see more about that. Uh, they didn't really show anything. They just showed it had like a cool song playing and like a dude walking through the environment. It was, I mean, but that was enough to like. And I guess they showed some like action, but. Um, yeah, and then the other thing was, um, Player Unknown's Battleground is getting oh, an update. Oh, yeah, that's uh, also going to be on Xbox. One hundred players. Yeah, fight it's like one hundred player to the de- like, open world survivor. I actually, I because um, Ashley was watching that with me when I was uh, watching that, and I, I asked her like out loud. I mean, I know she doesn't have the answer, but you know, yeah. how are they going to do that? Like with a match, like are you dead and then that's it? You're out of the match. Yeah. So then, like. You want to join another match? You do you have to wait until a hundred new players are able to join that match? Because I otherwise, if you join it. into a match in progress, it's out now, though. then whoever wins, you know, they'll be constantly fighting people joining. You know, when yeah, will the match no. end? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't looked. I mean, I only just recently found out about that game. To tell you the honest truth, um, it, like before that was announced, I um, I was reading through like a thread or something and. Someone mentioned that game, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Um, so I like looked it up, I was like, huh, that looks actually kind of interesting. But I never like downloaded it or anything. I don't know if, how much it costs or where to get it. or. But so, it looks like it'd be pretty fun. Uh, the other um, one... So those were like the big things that I noted on the on PC release. Okay. Also, another game I'm just excited about that I just remembered about is, uh, I forget the name of it at the moment, but Weeb Souls. You know, Anime Souls. Uh, what's it called? Code Vein. Code what? Code Vein. It's made by the people who made Dark Souls. They showed a little bit of gameplay, and it just looks like it's an anime Dark Souls like game. Hmm. Huh. I'm I didn't very even excited see that. about that. Huh. Interesting. Um, oh, you know what I'm excited about that I totally forgot about is that new Dragon Ball Z fighter. Me oh yes. Too. Oh yeah. That's right. Dragon Ball I'm Z. I'm so Woo! excited about that game. <laughs> oh my god. It's about it goddamn so time good. they brought a fighting game from them. To 2D, I Seriously. mean, they, I don't think there's been a 2D Dragon Ball fighting game since what Budokai since 2? Since like, uh, yeah, yeah, since like Budokai 2. And even then, you know, there's yeah. a little bit of 3D because I think you could. It's like the Tekken style yeah. that you can you yeah. can uh, rotate or whatever. But you know, it's about goddamn time. And they're they're kind of doing like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom uh, esque, you know, with the battle. It's three on three. Yeah. Which also that's another yeah. thing. They showed another trailer, story trailer. Very May- unimpressed. By with that story trailer from Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, you know, I it's that game in general, that game series is all about the fan service. Yeah. So, you know, that game looks ugly too. I'm just yeah, gonna throw that out that's there. that's what yeah. I mean. <laughs> like fighting games are at such a high like benchmark now, mainly because so, of like, yeah. Nether Realm. Yeah. And so when they but release, it, and they're like they're not hard games to make look pretty. Like there's they don't have to load a lot exactly. Like, so. 
everything about your game the is... The flashy attacks like, are, like, the most things that they have to load. Yeah. Because otherwise it's just hit box counters, blah, 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 whatever. All right, so... Yeah. Damn it, sorry. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Uh, there's quite a lot still to go through. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm excited for Bloodstained. They showed another little trailer gameplay that? of that. Um, that is the spiritual successor to Castlevania. Oh, um, ooh, yeah. that's exciting. It's called Bloodstained Something of the Night. Night of the Something. I'm into it. Nope, literally just Something of the Night. That's the subject. Okay, that's it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Derek, I am going to give the floor to you now. Are you prepared for the floor? What happened at Nintendo's thing? Nintendo! Nintendo I mean, didn't I even talk about watch, anything. Just like every year. I had to watch it at work, so, Same. I mean, <laughs> I actually knew more about the Sony stuff than the Nintendo, but... Oh. <laughs> um, so, the big thing um, was, obviously, Metroid Prime 4 is in development. I'm excited! Um, so, don't expect that in for three years. At, yeah, <laughs> more at or less. least. <laughs> <laughs> However, so, uh, to, to cut the time from from then from now until then, they are doing a yeah. a remake a 2D of Metroid yeah. Two. Oh, yeah. Did you not know that? I did not know that. That's yeah. cool. That's yeah, well. That's why she was for, fighting. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> if you um if you uh, watch the trailer or the gameplay that they are doing, you know she's fighting Metroids and they are at like gamma stage, beta stage, and those are things that were in Metroid Two. Mm. Um, yeah, but it looks awesome because it's uh, it's kind of it uses like a weird 3D kind of view. Like the camera rotates sometimes when she's fighting. Hmm. There's some kind of melee mechanic that she does. I don't know how I feel yep. about that, but I mean, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Whatever. It's another it's, it's another Metroid game. <laughs> Metroid Samus Returns. Yeah. Um, which um, ironically enough, Metroid Two was Return of Samus. So yeah. Um. That comes out in September. Yep. Which is that's for 3DS. So, um, but yeah, those were like two really big things um, they announced that I know a lot of people are excited about. Um, I'm I'm personally excited about it. I'm hope that definitely. it does amazing. Um, I hope that they don't take super long on it. I hope that them saying in development is is being a little coy. I hope that it's further along than just like, yeah, we're making it, guys. Let's put the team together. It's going to be like, like Kingdom Hearts they... 3 and it's never going to come out. It's never actually going to come yeah. out. <laughs> Seriously. Here's another trailer, guys. Um, Here's another one. Here, Oh, yeah, we're working on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your grandkids will play it. Or like, well, the thing with like the, H, the HD Zelda game, like they showed like a high def, quote unquote high def Zelda game like years and years ago. Yep. And then... Oh, and then what... Uh, it, what what it, Wind it Waker ended up came being out. like it yeah it ended up being Wind Waker like yeah and I love Wind so, Waker <laughs> I mean Wind Waker is awesome don't get me wrong but what do I you think that we're gonna like... get a Kingdom Hearts two point seven one 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 before a Kingdom Hearts yeah. three then probably <laughs> yeah we're gonna get like a two a Kingdom Hearts two point nine 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 it's almost here get ready here's the pre or no no you know what? <laughs> they're gonna be like Kingdom Hearts four sorry <laughs> Kingdom Hearts three is a prequel that's that's coming out later. <laughs> 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 um yeah so those were like the the big like i think shock factors they had for well there's one more um which was they announced that game freak is working on a core pokemon game for the <laughs> yeah, i'm sure your hands like, were waving in the air when you heard excited. that <laughs> My, when i saw it i was like <gasps> 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 they're, they're doing it they're doing it they're gonna do it <laughs> Well, so they're listening to the fans. Thing. They're actually listening. They, exactly. They, that's, I'm trying that's, to think of what that's movie that's thing. from. He can hear you. Oh, it's from fucking Avatar. You know, like the fucking. Uh, they 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 can hear the the prayers or whatever. You know, yeah, like, yeah. The the planet was was attacking at the end of the movie. Like uh, finally, Nintendo yeah. is listening to the fans. <laughs> yeah. That's Give what us it seems this like. game. Um, we'll buy it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they didn't. They literally just said that they're, they're working, working on it. So but I mean, you know, it, it was actually even less than the Metroid reveal. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it was, uh, it was just a guy just talking. Talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a new um, Kirby that's coming. There's, new Kirby coming uh, out. It's pretty cool. Fire Emblem. New. A new Yoshi. Warriors. Uh, Mario Yoshi, Odyssey. Yep. There was a good trailer for oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, I did actually they see some showed gameplay some of that. new Mario Odyssey. It expanded on some gameplay for that, like how you can take over 
enemies' bodies. Yeah, yeah. so like, is fucking... Mario just a hat possessing a plumber? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my question. That was like the first thing I had. I was like, spoiler Wait. alert. <laughs> so, He's actually is been Mario the hat. really just a hat? <laughs> Um, Rocket League is so coming to exciting. the Switch. If you yep. did not play that before, I'm sure you will now. Yeah, because it's Jesse's cross excited network to have play. it on the go. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's like the only cool thing about Skyrim even being on the Switch is like I guess yeah. you can play it portably if you've never played it before because you've yeah. been living under a rock yeah. for six years. But yeah, um, there's more Breath of the Wild the DLC. Thing. There's new yep. new amiibos, right? Yeah, yep. I mean, there's new, new amiibos, amiibos every Zelda. year, though, isn't there? Yeah. There's new amiibos more than that, um, <laughs> but yeah. So they announced more. They announced more amiibo for Breath of the Wild, and they showed off um, in the treehouse. They showed off some Mario Odyssey amiibo. They didn't show um, what would happen, but they talked about it, saying that the because you can use amiibos on the 3DS. Is that correct? Yep, the new 3DS. So um, it said that you can <laughs> use the Samus ones on the new Metroid uh, for the 3DS. That's going to yeah. be coming out, but they didn't say what they did. So yeah, like, just, if like, it just changes the armor or something, or something. I, I mean, I guess that'd be It'll... cool, but who knows? Uh, um, there's a the new Sonic thing... Sonic Forces. Yep, I mean, that's already that was already been announced though. They, they set expect, your they hopes also, up um... high with Sonic games. Yeah, because <laughs> when was the last time there was a good Sonic game? Like 2000. I know uh, Sonic Sonic. Uh, <laughs> what was it called? And not the anniversary. What was it? Uh, or yeah, maybe it was the last one I liked was Adventure no, was... Battle Two, I think, or something stupid like that. I don't remember the one that um, Jesse and I have played that you haven't. Jordan is was good. I don't remember what it was called though. Um, I played the Sonic. F- but, uh, I played Sonic Four. That was the one that it was a. Uh, di- no, it wasn't that. It was, a digital it was like one. it was like Sonic Generations. Oh yeah, like uh, Generations. That's what I was gonna say. But um, I don't like I don't like 3D Sonic though. I I, I know. Sorry. Sorry. It's like a mix though. It's like a mix <laughs> between 3D and 2D. It's not bad. Um, they also showed more for Xenoblade, the new Xenoblade game, which I know you haven't played, Jordan. Um, Have you played it? I but wish I've played it. I want to play it. It's really fun. So Z- um, Xenoblade and Xenoblade Chronicles X. This is Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Yeah. Um. Mm. So they kind of showed some backstory and uh, more anime stuff. So uh, I'm pretty excited. I I like that series. It's it has good combat. It has good story. So so um uh, the only IP from Nin- from Nintendo that did not make well actually I guess there's quite quite a lot but of of the big ones the heavy hitters Donkey Kong didn't there's no new Donkey Kong nope. game coming out. Um, no. Nope. No Pikmin, no Animal Crossing. Well, there's no Smash no, Bros. either, right? They didn't yeah, say anything about no that. No Smash. Uh, um, no new Mar. Oh yeah, you said no Mario Kart, right? Well, they they just well, put I mean, out like just eight, got Mario Deluxe. Kart eight Deluxe. Well, so. I mean, but a new yeah. one. <laughs> Although no new one. Good good improvements on eight Deluxe. Not to backtread on a game that's been out. But oh, I appreciate no, what they did. They added a lot yeah. to that game, actually. Like, Specifically, so. the ability to hold two items. Ooh. Yep, and well, they added all that battle mode stuff too. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about fun. that. Yeah, I gotta so. get my hands on a switch. Cool, cool. Oh, uh, um, the one if I I think I mentioned it to you before. It was like a very brief one in one of the podcasts, but it's called Vampire. It's spelled Vam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vampire, like with a Y, with like a Y R. Yeah. Um, so they showed a little bit more in depth with that, and you know the fact that he's a doctor. Uh, during the first war, I didn't realize the time period that it was set in, so it's during the first world war. Okay. Um, yep. So he's a doctor that becomes a vampire, and uh, you have to feed, and so like you can feed from like anyone in the uh, game essentially, and yeah. so that'll affect you know if yeah. you feed on like a main NPC, well then that's it, you know you can't Ooh. you can't talk to him anymore. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. There's and also he has like, to protect yeah. the lives of the innocent though, because he is a doctor. But he's Vampire Doctor. Um, <laughs> how about the fact that they're making an Evil Within 2? Because I don't think the first one Did anyone play sequel. the first one? Uh, it was very I disappointing. Thought the first one, I thought the first one was like disappointing. It was incredibly disappointing, yeah. which makes you wonder why yeah. they're making a second one. I don't know. I wasn't, like, there, there was no part of it that me and that trailer I was like oh cool I'm gonna right? play that oh boy <laughs> like not a single point like not a, at a single point was like oh this looks interesting yeah um 
I got, so, yeah. There's a bit of an update. I don't know if there's still... Is there any more unconfirmed things now? There's, I think over the course of the next few days, they're going to announce like two or three more AAA games that haven't been announced yet. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. There's still like... I mean, like like you said earlier, Jordan, like the floor just opened up for people today. Yeah. Um. So like all the press stuff is done, but who knows what companies do when they're on the floor. Because, I mean, Nintendo for example, had their spotlight and they didn't even fucking mention the Metroid Samus Returns thing. Nope. Like, that was part of the Treehouse event, which, like, I usually never watch the Treehouse because they play too much of the game. Yeah. That's when they, like, play games. <laughs> That's, yeah, that they, was, they one of the videos so that I was watching was them, like, it was these two girls that were playing the 3DS uh, new Metroid. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? Can you stop? Can you, like, just go to something else? Please, stop. Oh my god, for the love, stop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to so see anymore. That's why. <laughs> that's why I don't watch those. But that's like how they announced it, which is weird. But um, so who knows what? Maybe some companies still have some stuff up their sleeves for the floor. Because um, I mean, I guess there has to be a reason for people to go to the the actual event. Yeah, yeah. Just, like playing games. Well, I'm sure they want to see it on their with their own hand or play it with their yeah. own hands. See it with their own yeah, hands. Yeah. Schedule right. Some, um, yeah. Right. So. I, I, I have an updated little list of like the essentially the holiday season of games yep. and it's looking pretty good I gotta say yep. um, as, especially with just some of the stuff I mean there's obviously quite a couple of things that are not going to be coming out this year but yeah um, did no oh uh, another one was the steep the steep game <sighs> um, you played oh, that that's right? switch too but who cares yeah <laughs> it was good. It wasn't like I don't know. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna get it. From the I would rather have like SSX Tricky back, where uh, it's just absurdity. Nice. I don't need Seriously. realistic stuff like that. Like nobody's trying to really. Their, their concurrent player base is like really low, from what I understand. The only like realistic sports game I'd want to play is like a new skate game, and that's not gonna happen because the developer went under yeah. or got shut down or something. Like that's the only realistic sports game I've ever really liked was was skate. Yep. Um. But whatever. What are you gonna do? Yeah. You can't have it all, guys. You can't have it all. You you would want, um, but you can't. I can't. I can't think of. I mean, we went through a lot. <laughs> I know. Well, we <laughs> fireballed out a, a whole. I mean, we didn't really. We didn't give an opinion for every single thing, but it's kind of hard to do that. No. In yeah. the podcast yeah, time. Exactly. Um. Yeah. That's. I think that's what Thursday's gonna end up being is. We're gonna be able to break down some stuff a little bit more. Okay. Right? And back Thursday, I mean, we'll it's have be we'll have more info on any other stuff if now. they want to talk about as well. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, it's still yeah. going on right now, you know. <laughs> yeah. So um, tomorrow, when you guys are watching this now on Saturday, or whenever you're watching this tomorrow, or the next video put up on our channel is going to be um, us talking again about E3. Um, hope maybe we'll go a little bit more in depth about what we want to see. Um, I think a cool thing that I want to do is like pick our top three and then like kind of go through what we want to see in those games and uh, you know what would make us buy them. Maybe even do some games that were borderline and like why what we'd have to buy or what they'd have to do in the game for us to to buy it. Um, whatever. So. All right. Anyway. Um, so check that out when that goes up tomorrow. Um, thanks for watching us fucking flash through. Super, <laughs> a super, lot of, lots of things. A lot to of talk announcements. About. Yeah. Um, and thank you, Josh. And we even for missed, we missed quite, a, quite a good chunk of Oh, I'm God. Sure. I'm looking at the fact that we missed Middle Earth uh, Shadow of War right now. Uh, uh, that's but okay. Fuck it. Thank you guys for having um, me. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, subscribe to Slash Group like this video tell us uh, in the comments what you're looking forward to the most what uh, surprised you at e3 uh and uh we'll catch you guys next time bye bye bye, bye.